Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about a few things. This is a dinosaur that I built for uh, as a demo for one of my classes a while back. I don't have the uh, in-progress versions of it. Well, I do. This is actually one of the in-progress versions, and the the, uh, the finished version is right here. But I wanted to show you the the Z spheres. You can still see the the legacy uh, polygroups that resulted from the Z spheres. Okay. So that's pretty good on that side, but you know I've got the other side to deal with. There's a very, very useful plugin that comes pre-installed with ZBrush, and it lives up here in the Z plugin menu. I'm just going to go ahead and click this little circle to expand it to the side menu here. It's called the Subtool Master. So the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is doing UVs. Is and I'm going to actually need to reconstruct my subdivision on the second dinosaur as well. The fewer polys you have, the faster the uh, uh, the UV unwrap is going to go. And I can go ahead and collapse the Subtool Master, and now I'm going to go to the UV Master. And all you need to do is click the Unwrap button. That's for the Quick and Dirty, which is the first one that I'll show you, and I'll show you one variation on the Quick and Dirty that's also pretty great. But if I hit Morph UV, it will actually go ahead and just lay everything flat. And this is what the actual UVs look like. So I can hit more UV and go back. If you select Attract, you're going to be painting blue. So anywhere that you paint blue in the model, it's going to think that's where you want your seam to go. And if you want to erase it, it's just white. So red protects, blue attracts. So there's this thing here, this menu called Surface. And what Surface is good for is if you've got a, a thing and you want to you want to tile a texture across the entire surface. If you have a tiling alpha, that's possible. If you don't have a tiling alpha, and you just make, in Photoshop, for instance, like a, use a procedural, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment, what you can see is where it is black on the texture, it pushes in on the surface. Now this is essentially acting the same as a bump map. It isn't actually deforming the geometry, it's just changing the lighting so it appears to be deforming the geometry. But we can go ahead and, and take a look at the seam here. With Morph Target, you can either switch, so I've got the noise turned off now, so I'm just switching back and forth from the current state to the saved Morph Target state. Another thing you can do is you can actually uh, paint it in, so if I go to the brushes, click M to select the Morph Target brushes and find Morph, what I can do is just paint in the original state, the saved Morph state. So that about does it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll talk about polypainting and how to export textures out of ZBrush.